Okay, in the last increment I had closed saying that 2 Samuel 23 was metered by a guy named Dr. Richard Gray back in 1749, which is where the word Numphias first appears in Matthew 25, standing for that year. And it's real important. Okay, real important. This is uh, 2 Samuel 23. This is David's last song. This is, ends up being like a deathbed blessing, which is exactly what Christ is doing in Matthew 24, 25. So it's kind of not surprising that he would prophesy a book that would metrically translate the last words of David since he's the last David, okay? This is the this is the way Greek drama is written. They always take like obscure things to show that hi, I really know what I'm saying when I'm predicting the future. I mean, you know, nobody would think to look this up. When we think of prophecy, we think of major historical events, okay? We don't think of the real important history like when a Bible book is metrically translated because the scholars are too arrogant to think about, oh, gee, maybe we want to count syllables since that's what the ancients all did. All right? So here, you can buy this at Amazon. The Last Words of, Nate, of David by Richard Gray, paperback. Yeah, there are six of them available used from $16. There are 12 of them new from 11 bucks. I'm going to buy one, so I don't know if they'll be the same price when you get there. <clears throat> You've got other formats and editions. Let's see what those are. Only paperback. Since it's paperback, that means a lot of copies have been sold, okay? And apparently the paperback version came out in June 2010, so it means there's still a market for it. Oh, got that? Okay. And let me get rid of this. All right. I don't know how he metered it. I don't know if he's following the Hebrew or not. But it says the meter. Implication that he's following the Hebrew syllable counts. Well, how am I going to find out? Well, I'm going to have to buy it. See? Last words of David divided according to the meter. Amazon.com. That's how I found it by looking up the title that I just showed you over here. See? Last words of David. See? Right here. 1749. Ding. Doesn't say that it's 1749, but it was. That's where the word Numphias ends. The word Numphias is in Matthew 25 at the end of, uh, I want to say verse 3 or something, I can't call it up because in 64-bit windows it won't let me, you know, play with the, the other stuff, okay? So here, you can look at it up yourself and you know what, there must be a market for it, huh? Even now, because here it is for sale at Amazon. Gee, some people actually want to know the Hebrew syllable counts. So why don't the scholars pay attention to that since they can make money on it? Ooh, I am so mad at the so-called scholars I could spit. I gotta go use one John when I'm leaving again. Oh, I forgot to mention something that's really important. David died when he was 77 and the stupid scholars used Josephus instead of the Bible, so they think he died at age 70. The Bible actually says he died at 77, but it says so in a clever manner. 1 Kings 6, 1, if you go look it up, you don't have to use the, the Hebrew, you can even see it in English, is basically telling you that David would have been 80 years old when Solomon starts to build the temple. And how do you know that? Well, you had to actually read the previous five chapters, which carries you from the time that David retires at age 70 and then he spends the next seven years doing the temple which is in 1 Chronicles uh, 22 through 29 that's what he did in his retirement and in those same seven years Solomon started ruling which everybody knows 
So when it says the fourth year of Solomon in 1 Kings 6, 1, it's talking about the fourth year of Solomon, meaning after David died. So David died three years prior. Okay, so that means David was 77. Get the point? Seven chapters. I mean, the chapter markers are in the Hebrew. They call them Samex markers, and sometimes they're Fe markers. Okay, so what? Does the scholars didn't figure that out? I figured that out. It wasn't too hard. Seven chapters, seven years, one chapter per year. Because David, after he retires, starts to regret it and thinks, Oh, my son Solomon's too young. And therefore they thought, well, maybe Solomon's not really anointed king. So they started to take somebody else in his place. And that's what First Kings 1 through 5 covers up until the third year after David dies. So that's why First Kings 6, 1 says, In the fourth year of Solomon. It's not too hard to figure out if you just do a little reading. But no, the scholars wanted to look up Josephus, who said that David died when he was seven, 70. Okay, that's not what the meter of 2 Samuel 23 tells you. 2 Samuel 23 tells you that David was 77 when he died. It's a dateline. Hi, I'm 77 when I'm writing this thing. That's his first dateline in the book, because that's what meter does, is it datelines. The first time his text sevens is at 77. The second time it sevens is at 91, which is exactly the same meter as is in Psalm 1 for the dateline. Except it's the third dateline in the Psalm 1 through 3. I didn't, I didn't know that. This guy knew that. This guy here. Anoni nominon. See? See? This is his meter. You can go look this up. Right here. See? This is his own meter. He metered it just now. See? 91. And there are the meter benchmarks. And these first two are the date lines for Psalm 1. How come the scholars don't know that? But we do. Here's a third date line, 91. It's the same. The same. In 2 Samuel 23, verses 1 through 3. And 14 syllables prior to the 91 that closes David's life, just as Psalm 1 is the, you know, David's the guy who's starting the book. That's not the first psalm he ever wrote, but it's where he starts the book. Is also 91. Okay? So here we are, sweetheart. 77, the first date line in Samuel in 2 Samuel 23, verses 1 through 3. The first date line is his age. Hi, I'm David. I'm writing at age 77, which is the same way of phrasing it as he does here. See, 14 and 28 equals 42. David's writing when he's 42 years old, which I explain here. I'm 42 when I write. I was anointed by King Samuel 28 years prior when I was 14. I've been king for 12 years. 14 years from now, I will have 21 years left to live. And how do I know that he meant that before I looked up 2 Samuel 23? Because Isaiah 53, verse, Isaiah 53 uses that as its first 77 syllables. And Matthew knew that, which is why he played on the 42. And Luke knew that, and he played on the 35. Now, I, I did the Isaiah videos, like, uh, back in 2008. And you can see them in v Vimeo. It's the Isaiah 53 channel. Could you ask for more confirmation than this? And here's a book. You read it yourself. See how he counts the syllables. He might not count it the same way. But you can look up the Hebrew of uh, 2 Samuel 23, verses 1 through 3, and parse it yourself, because that's what a nominon, a nominon just did right here. Okay? Do it yourself. This is 2016, honey. It's not hard to do. It's not hard to learn the Bible in Greek and Hebrew like it used to be. Because we got software now. So, you got some homework to do. See this for yourself. 
Because 91 is a season. Paul uses this meter of 91 for seasons. Christ does the same thing in Matthew 24 and 25. So go do your homework. Peace out.